Good afternoon, members of the Lakes Region business community. My name is Peter Wright, and I'm the president of Bridgeton and Rumford Hospitals in Central Maine Healthcare's long-term care division. We wanted to present uh, some information to you today about how Bridgeton Hospital, Central Maine Healthcare, are getting back to business and hopefully answer some questions for you that will help you get your business up and running. I think what's important to start with is the coronavirus 2019 is unlike any virus we've ever seen in our lifetime. As many of you probably know, the last time we've seen a pandemic of this sorts was back in 1918 with the Spanish flu. So everybody is operating from a new norm. First, let me start by helping you understand what your local hospital has been doing to both prepare, respond, and recover to the coronavirus pandemic. Bridgeton Hospital from the get-go has worked with our parent flagship Central Maine Medical Center and all of the team at Central Maine Healthcare to prepare for and brace for the coronavirus in Maine. While we originally thought COVID-19 would overrun the state of Maine, its hospitals, hospital beds, ICU beds, and available ventilators, those initial projections were revised down dramatically because of our ability to social distance, our geography, and our ability to respond to the virus and what we learned from New York, Georgia, Boston, Washington State, and around the globe. Because of those efforts, because Central Maine Healthcare collaborated with the three other large healthcare systems in the state of Maine, along with Governor Mills and her administration, we were able to prepare and respond in a way that keeps our community and our healthcare providers safe. As a result, we've seen an unusually low number of positive tests and an unusually low number of inpatients throughout the system. Don't let this fool you into thinking we've let our guard down. We continue to stay prepared. We continue to meet as a team and as a system to constantly monitor the situation around the state and around the country. Bridgeton Hospital and the Central Maine Healthcare team remain ever ready and prepared for all types of peaks and valleys in the number of COVID-19 cases that Maine will and has seen. Because our planning and preparation efforts have been successful, we've seen the flattening of the curve, and that means we're ready to get back to business. In recent weeks, we've reopened to elective surgeries. We have reopened other services such as cardiac rehab and expanded opportunities for telemedicine visits and clinic hours. What we want you to know is that coming to Bridgeton Hospital and coming to Central Maine Healthcare facilities is both safe and in your best interest. The worst thing you could do is stay home. Anybody who's not feeling well should connect with their primary care provider and go through a series of screening tests to make sure you get the right care in the right place at the right time, every time. Part two of our recovery effort is how do we partner with our communities to help businesses reopen and get our economy up and running again. The next stage of this recovery is not only for our communities to get back to normal, for us to get back into restaurants, to be able to get our hair cut and engage with businesses like we normally would, but we also are confronted with the summer population, influxes, large influxes of people from outside the state coming to enjoy our lakes and beautiful scenery across the state of Maine. What we wanna do is, is help you prepare for that next step to make sure that you can do it safe, to make sure that you can consistently and sustainably keep your business open. Let's start with a couple of questions that were submitted to us by members of the business community. In general, has the hospital been able to obtain adequate PPE for hospital staff to date and do they anticipate being able to obtain adequate B PPE in the future? One of the best aspects of being part of the Central Maine Healthcare family is our access to a much broader supply chain. Central Maine Healthcare has been able to aggressively obtain adequate PPE for our staff, and even in some cases for our visitors. At any one of our acute care facilities, patients and visitors are screened before coming in, given a mask, uh, and specific instructions about how to keep social distancing within the hospital. This is important, but we wouldn't be able to do that without the right equipment. We continue to have access to 
the highest quality PPE, and we're ensured that our staff, our patients, and the limited visitors that are allowed in our facility can stay safe. Has the hospital been able to get COVID-19 testing performed on a timely basis, or has there been a shortage in any way in performing testing? In the early stages of the pandemic, the entire state of Maine had a dramatic shortage in access to testing. This was quickly resolved through our own contracts with lab companies such as Quest or LabCorp, as well as working with the Maine CDC. Today, we have adequate access to the appropriate testing under the guidelines that each hospital has worked collaboratively with the state CDC. Today, our tests, depending upon the need, range from 24 hours to 70 minutes. This will ensure that we can test the appropriate patient at the appropriate time when they are showing symptoms or if they're going to undergo an invasive procedure. The main CDC posts information about critical care bed availability, ventilator availability, how many are in use, etc. What is the current status of Bridgeton statistics on these same facets? Bridgeton Hospital maintains an average daily census of about 12 to 13 patients a day. Today, we're at that very same census. We have all the assets and resources that we need and haven't had any trouble taking any patient that's been presented to us through the emergency department or through direct admission. As far as I can see into the future, we will continue to be able to meet the needs of our community. What is staff utilization like? That is, have there been adequate physicians, nurses, and technicians to handle the day-to-day -day medical services as well as those for COVID-19? Is there a shortage of staff, surplus, or appropriate levels? Many of you know that early on in the pandemic, all, all hospitals in the state of Maine quickly closed elective services. This was for the best interest of the safety of our patients. As a result, our volumes dropped dramatically and we were forced, like every other hospital in the state, to furlough some of our employees. For Central Maine Healthcare, that represented approximately 10% of our workforce. We continue to slowly bring those staff back as and when the volume dictates. To date, we've had plenty of staff, supplies, and equipment to treat all of our patients. What is the hospital's ability to obtain the necessary medications to treat COVID-19 patients? Does it currently have any of these medications available for use? The known medications to treat COVID-19 are also in limited supply. That said, the main CDC, along with the hospitals in the state, have been able to access several doses of these medications. We work collaboratively with our peers across the state to make sure each hospital and each health system has the appropriate access to these medications as and when needed. To date, Bridgeton Hospital doesn't have any inpatients or anyone needing these medications. While that is the case, we do have access to the medication if indeed the time comes that we're in need to treat patients with it. Approximately how many confirmed cases of COVID-19 have been treated at Bridgeton Hospital? We've tested thousands of patients across Central Maine Healthcare. And even though Bridgeton Hospital is located in Cumberland County, we're located in Northern Cumberland County, and that's made all the difference in the world. Northern Cumberland County has not seen the vast pervasive spread of COVID-19 like they have in the southern part of the state. For that, we are indeed very fortunate. That being said, we have tested and treated several patients both in our emergency department and our inpatient unit. Some of those patients have become severely ill and needed to be transferred to Central Maine Medical Center where they've got more intensive treatment. The good part about being a system is as soon as those patients have been ready to come back, we've been able to transfer them back to Bridgeton Hospital for the last part of their care and then home. So what I hope you all walk away with a sense of is that regardless of how severe or how sick a patient is, Bridgeton Hospital, along with Central Maine Medical Center and the Central Maine Healthcare team, have and will continue to maintain the ability to treat all patients, regardless of how sick they are. It's important that we are part of a system so that when patients' needs outstrips what we're able to do locally, we have a partner to be able to transfer care smoothly. And when that patient is ready to come back to their community, we can provide that transition smoothly as well. How well will Bridgeton Hospital be able to handle an influx of patients? Is there a particular figure that we feel comfortable with? I'm proud that we've been able to take care of the needs of our community to date. One of the things about COVID-19 that's ever present is its unpredictability. 
if and when the time comes when the needs of our community outstrip what Brisbane Hospital can provide, this is when being part of a system is ever important. We'll make sure that we provide the right care in the right place at the right time every time with our system partners. Does Bridgeton Hospital have a plan with other regional hospitals to treat patients? While Bridgeton Hospital is a part of the Central Maine healthcare system, on the western side of Maine, there are a variety of other hospitals that we collaborate with every day. Whether it's Memorial Hospital in North Conway, Stevens Memorial Hospital in Norway, or Franklin Memorial Hospital in Farmington. We meet and talk on a regular basis to figure out how we can collaborate and serve the needs of the Western Maine region. We did this before COVID-19, we're doing it during COVID-19, and we will continue to do it after COVID-19. Healthcare has a long history of partnerships and collaborations across the state, and we continue to maintain that wonderful Maine tradition. I heard an interview with former Maine Governor Paul LePage where he suggested having visitors report directly to hospitals to have a test taken. During the early stages of the pandemic, all Maine hospitals worked collaboratively with the Mills Administration and the Maine CDC to develop specific criteria around who is tested, when, and under what conditions. Earlier this week, you heard the governor drop those restrictions on testing. Central Maine Healthcare continues to collaborate with the other three major healthcare systems across the state to determine how and when we'll be able to meet this need. To date, we still don't have a firm understanding of all the testing supplies that will be made available to us and how quickly we'll be able to turn those around, as well as other conditions of how many people will be coming in to be tested. As you might imagine, the population in the entire state of Maine surges during the summertime. Our ability to test everybody would certainly be challenged under these conditions. Again, we continue to work with the Mills Administration, the Maine CDC, and our other healthcare partners across the state to determine how best to meet the testing needs of the state of Maine and its visitors. Is there a way for hospitals to keep our communities safe? Bridgeton Hospital and the Central Maine Healthcare System have always been strong partners with our local business community. That remains today. We welcome the opportunity to work with each business individually to develop practices and protocols that will help keep your employees and your customers safe. But we'll go back to the basic tenets. Maintain the discipline of social distancing. Stay six feet apart. Wear a mask as often as possible and wash your hands repeatedly. Those very basic tenets will help you keep yourself, your staff, your customers, and our communities safe. I'm aware of patients that have been waiting weeks for surgery at Bridgeton Hospital. How will they handle the influx of tourists if they haven't been able to handle local care? One of the unfortunate circumstances of COVID-19 was the requirement to stop elective procedures and surgeries, as well as therapies and other types of care. As I mentioned earlier, in recent weeks, we've opened up our OR to elective cases. We're starting to stand up therapies and other areas of service. In addition, for those folks who aren't comfortable coming in, we've launched telemedicine through uh, Maine Urgent Care, and we're also working in our outpatient clinics to launch telemedicine in each individual clinic. This will take a little bit of time to realize across our entire system, but we're changing the way that we do business. We understand that it's not logistically possible for everybody to come in, and our mantra in our clinics is to be able to call, click, or come on in. So wait for more updates that will be coming soon. Lastly, what's important to note is that those folks who have been waiting for a procedure or surgery over the last couple of weeks will be rescheduled in the next week or two to come. If you're having any challenges, please feel free to call the hospital and ask for your surgeon or primary care provider and see when your procedure can be rescheduled. Traditionally, a group of physicians from Bridgeton Hospital provide standing orders for local summer camps. Will Bridgeton Hospital do this again this summer? and will include updates for COVID-19 specifics. One of the things that we love the most about summertime in Bridgeton is the camps and the influx of children that come to our communities. We are very excited to be working with the camps to help them figure out a way to maintain normal operations. Our providers and staff remain ready to help camps with standing orders or other practices to maintain safety during the pandemic this summer. My staff and I will be working directly with the Camp Directors Association, the Camp Nurses Association, as we have in years past, to prepare for the coming camp season. 
We are really excited for the kids to come. And we're willing to help you in any way we can. Let me close by saying thank you for the huge outpouring of support, whether it's signs on our lawns, letters to our staff, food that never seems to end. We greatly appreciate your outpouring of support, your caring and acknowledgement of how hard this is for us as well as for the rest of the community. I want you to know that we're here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Along the bottom of the screen, you'll see my email address and phone contact information, and I encourage you to reach out with any questions or concerns along the way. When I came to this community, I pledged that I would be here to help you through the best of times and the worst of times. And while this is certainly a challenge for all of us, we're gonna come through this because we're gonna do it together. The grit, resolve, and resiliency that has made Maine the great state that it is, is exactly what's gonna help us get through this pandemic. And we're gonna do it together. Thank you very much for all your support. We look forward to working with you. Stay healthy, stay well. Have a great afternoon.